Hey everyone, it's Jake with Jack Collectibles, and today I've got some more Pokemon Lost Thunder booster packs. So I was able to find some more of these at a local party city. Uh, my last break, I opened uh, some of these from a party city and had some pretty nice pulls. And uh, still looking for some Lugias from this set. So it's not a set that I opened a ton of. I um, was not collecting a ton of Pokemon at that time when it came out. But I'm um, happy to hop back in and get some of these packs at nice retail prices. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, let me know what you think. So we had a full art of Suicune last time, it was really sweet. And there's a Celebi, not bad, and a Genesect GX. Ultra rare, we'll take that. And a Lantern Rare. So we got 14 packs here. Uh, they had these for, I think, uh, $4.99 a pack. And Pyroar. So they weren't marked up or anything. They were the... Uh, Typical retail price. There he is, pretty sweet. And a Steelix. So even the Lugia GX from this set is really uh, selling for a lot right now. So it'd be nice even just to get one of those. Hound Doom. Just any full art uh, from this set is selling for a lot. A lot of uh, really nice secrets in the set as well. Two Cannon. Hoppip and an Espeon. Like that pincer. And I think about halfway through. So, so far, just uh, one hit. Let's see if we can maybe get another one or two. An unknown reverse and a slow king rare. And a secret rare adventure bag. There we go, a nice gold card. Adventure bag trainer. So this one is a little off center, kind of top to bottom. Not terrible, but pretty sweet to get a, uh, a gold card. Very happy for that. Out of just some uh, loose packs like that. It's just the old plain green that doesn't look too encouraging. Oh, we got to we still get a life force though. That's not bad. An Umbreon. See, I think booster boxes when I checked of uh, Lost Thunder were close to like 400 a box. So packs were about 10, 11 dollars a pack ish. So you're getting these, when you get them at retail, it's about half the price. It looks like we got a full art of an Alolan Ninetales. Very nice. We will take that Alolan Ninetales GX. I think they had some base Sword and Shield. Um, I wanna say maybe some Unbroken Bonds. And a hollow rare right there. I think it might be the first hollow rare so far that I've pulled. Yeah, I think it is. Two packs to go.
Nat 2, Pika Pick, and another hollow rare. Back to back. Last pack. Let's see if we need some last pack magic. Potentially. Maybe something else. Nope. It's just going to be an unknown. All right. So overall, still pretty happy with the break. Uh, can't complain from 14 packs to pull a gold card here of a secret rare and a nice full art alone with nine tails. That one looks really nice. It's in really good shape too. It's got nice, uh, some nice centering and uh, everything looks pretty good on it from what I can tell kind of first glance. And then we did get the Genesect GX Ultra Rare and then the Life Forest and Celebi. So comment below and know what you think. Have you been able to find any uh, booster packs at your local party cities? Um, they also had, I think, just some like Detective Pikachu boxes and a few other small little like starter decks and things like that. But the most of the loose packs they had were the Lost Thunder, uh, Sun and Moon base, and I mean uh, Sword and Shield base, and then uh, I believe Unbroken Bond. So comment below and know what you think. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, and hope you have a great day. Thank you.